video on how to format your essay. As you can see here, I've got this essay by Isabella Judge, but it's not formatted in MLA citation. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're gonna do is we need to make this double spaced, all right? So we can either select it all, we can either go to file or edit, uh, select all. Also, we could do control A or command A if you're on a Mac, all right? And that'll select all of your document. All right, after that, we need to make it double spaced. If you look over here, there's an arrow with the little spacing sign. If your screen is collapsed, you might need to click this uh, drop down button or these this three buttons right here to get to this menu, all right? So we're looking for this line spacing and we're gonna change it to double spacing. Once you do that, you're gonna see your essay's automatically gonna be put into double spaced. Not bad. Next thing we have to do is we have to put your last name in the corner here with the page number. Super easy to do. Actually, uh, all you gotta do is double click in this corner and there you go, you can start messing with the heading and this person's last name is Judge, right? So I'm gonna do write in Judge and then I'm gonna, uh, going to insert the page number. To do that, you're gonna click on insert um, and then you're going to see that it says page numbers and then we can decide where we want the page number. I believe what we want is the first one and that's it. Right, so if we go uh, to the second page now, you'll see it says as a judge two. Go to the third page, it says judge three. We got an extra one here, so let's just get rid of that. Alrighty, uh, going on to the next thing that we need to do is the heading. Isabella Judge isn't the only thing we want here. We also want the name of the professor or the teacher, which is Mr. Lieberman. We also want uh, the class, which is social studies seven. And we also want the day that this is due, which would be, and you're gonna do it in a different format. It's the formats like this. It's uh, since it's gonna to be due tomorrow, April 17th, we're gonna put 17 April, 2020, all right? So now that we have that, we have an extra space here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Awesome, all right? The last thing that we need to do is look at these citations because, oh, and there's some extra spaces here so we can get rid of those, awesome. All right, uh, if we look at your work cited, all right, couple things. First thing, notice that all of a sudden one of mine is in a different font. Maybe they're all in a different font, all right? We need to make sure everything is in the same font, all right? To do that, we can either select all to make sure everything's on the same font. So we can go to, again, edit, select all, or we can just hit control A or control or command A if you're on a Mac. Then what we wanna do is we wanna change some of the font stuff. So one thing I noticed is it's highlighted, right? We do not want any highlighting. So if I hit none, we can see the highlighting goes away. Awesome. Something else that we want is we want everything to be in Times New Roman font, all right? You're gonna have to do a little bit of search in here, but it should be right there. So we're gonna go ahead and click Times New Roman font. Awesome. Other stuff, all right? This is the last and very important thing, all right? Uh, your you really, really need to make sure that uh, your after your your citation, if it's more than one line, you need to indent it. So right now, I can't tell when the citation ends. This is how you can change that, all right? You're gonna hit tab at the beginning, but watch, it might not work. Oh no, it tabbed the wrong thing, right? So I'm gonna undo, and instead I'm gonna hit enter first. So I'm hitting enter, and then I'm gonna hit tab and now it's allowing me to tab, all right? And then I'm gonna hit tab down here, and then it allowed me to tab. Now I know this is the first one, all right? Also, anybody notice this is out of order, all right? We've got Sanzio at the top. This should be alphabetical. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, and I'm gonna paste it down here after Owen, all right? Let's keep looking here. We've also got uh, this one, right? Uh, this one is uh, also needs to be indented. So again, I'm going to hit enter and then tab, and that'll let me indent that. And then hit enter and then tab here again, right? And I'm gonna hit enter and then tab here again. Now you can see all the different sources I have, but still look, this font size is font size 12. This font size is font size 11. We're looking for font size 11 as a total. So again, I'm going to select it all. That's how I use control A. You can also use command A if you're on a Mac or you can always go to file, select all, or you can just highlight everything, all right? So I'm gonna uh, do control A, and I'm just going to change the font to make sure we're all the same font, font size 11, all righty? 
Notice my, uh, as it gets a little shorter, I'm seeing some extra spaces here. That's great. Let's get rid of those extra spaces. I'm looking at it. It looks pretty good. Now, if you want to make your SAE look even better, what you can do is you can make sure your works cited is always on the next page. To do that, there's two ways. You could either hit control enter, which will automatically bring it to the next page, or there's an option uh, in the settings. And I believe it's insert page break is what it's called, right? A page break, all right? So if I hit insert page break, boom, that'll also do the same thing. It doesn't matter what I type here or how much I type, it will always go to the next page. I hope this video was informative to give you some guidance on how to format your essay. This is well formatted now. You can see that we've got the heading, we've got the uh, the header, and I'm looking at my header, my header's the wrong size, so this is important. We gotta look and we gotta make sure everything is the right size, all right? So now I got the header the right size, the heading the right size, I've got a title, I've got all my, uh, at my paragraphs, all right? And I even have my works cited page at the bottom. Alrighty, notice again, the works cited page is indented after the first line, all right? This makes it easy to see when the citation ends. I hope this helped out everybody. Take care, have a fantastic day, and I'll be making another video for the lesson.